I want to chat for just a second about um, Gene Rivers. So, and, the, and then we'll move on to uh, one other topic that I want to focus a bit on today. Um, okay, so who listened, who heard something, who learned something, who had their mind blown? What did you hear? I think Heather's still trying to connect for some reason. Is she? Okay. Michelle, what did, what did, what did you hear yesterday? Um, a lot. It's, uh, it's kind of overwhelming <laughs> because I always learn so much from Jean. It's, it's just following the models. Don't reinvent the wheel. Um, be realistic. You know, I, I do this every year. I write a business plan every year. And I, I feel like I started in October and, and still in like February, I'm rewriting it. And, you know, June, I'm rewriting it. And, you know, and, and I beat myself up for it. But gosh, having something is certainly more than probably what 80% of other realtors do. So there's at least that. But um I don't know. I think just really just following the models, you know, don't reinvent the wheel, read the book. Was there, and is there a tool like a, I guess there's a tool inside KW Connect somewhere that. Sorry, I, I lost you guys for the last like minute or so. I'm sorry to oh. cut you off. I right, catch me back up on what you said. Just that, um, just basically just follow the models, you know, quit reinventing the wheel. It's all there for you everything works. There's so many ideas about um, what your marketing strategy should be and everything works. So find what works for you, find what's your brand, find what's comfortable, find what's within your budget, what's scalable and, and, and stick to it, you know, create this plan and stick to it. Um, I was going to ask you, is there something inside KW Connect? I know it came up a couple of times yesterday of these you know, actual documents. Like I do everything on paper and I have some old stuff from old PC that I use, but is there, are there like documents inside KW or, or, or like spreadsheets or something that we can use when we're doing the budget model, the economic model? Right, right. Was in the, in What's that? Do you hear me? No. Pretty much all of the, the basic stuff was in the models from the handouts from yesterday, the downloads. Okay, yeah, so just use those, uh, yeah. yeah. If you look in uh, our Google Drive, there's some there's definitely some materials. Okay. Um, and then I have some, uh, <clears throat> I have some stuff as, as well. There's also a, um, a, a file in the Google Drive for PC that is called uh, Maps Models. This okay. is a class. Honestly, I think that all of you are ready for this class. This is a class called Maps Models. And what they did is they basically took every single model, right? The it, it was it was everything. It was lead gen, organizational, economic, mm -hmm. uh, budget, expansion, um, you know, just basically every single model that Keller Williams has kind of put out there. And they put it all in one big kind of booklet. And then they go through and explain every single one of them. It was just a really cool class. And I've got the handout. The handout is in the um, PC Google Drive. And yeah. uh, there's some material there on the exact budget breakdowns and that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, in, in short, very much so. One, one thing also that's probably really relevant for you right now, Michelle, is yeah. the... Um, kind of all the operations manuals and all of the um, job profiles and job descriptions and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Those, just those are all go in there and yeah. see it all. Yeah. Those I went through recently, I went through KW Connect and pulled right. a lot of those. And you have access for, right. So I would be, I would be creating my own resource library. Mm -hmm. When you yeah. go to your assistant and say, Hey, I've been kind of speaking in vague terms to you for, for is read this and build it. This is exactly yep. how to do it. This is your operations manual. So if you have questions about, you know, um, you know, kind of the, the, the processes of, 
you know, checklists and you need to know what to remember and what not to forget and all these kind of things. It's, <coughs> it's all right here. <coughs> it was written to make your um, uh, all the efforts and projects that you've got to build with your, your team um, easier, right? Because now you have the foundation, then you just tweak it a bit. Yep. Um, so for those that have never looked at that, I'm going to highly recommend that you spend a few minutes or a few hours kind of yeah. combing through all of the resources that KW offers. So if you go to Keller Williams University, which is within um, Connect, um, you will see every class, like when with buyers, when with sellers, you know, 36, 12, 3, all that stuff. It all has student manuals and, and uh, teacher manuals. And yeah. so, like Gene said yesterday, a, a bit of it is, uh, some of it is a little antiquated. Like every once in a while, you'll, you'll find something that's like, you know, like the, you know, text this number to get this kind of information and like that kind of stuff. Like it's a little older, but yeah. at the, at the, at the at, at, essentially everything still works. If you work it, it works. One thing I loved about Gene's talk was um, he always talks about this. It's like, where is your collateral, right? It's like, Click here to get the buyer's guide. Click here, click here to get the seller's guide. Click here to learn about investing. Click here to learn about refinancing. Click here to, you know, to learn about how to put your kid through college for at 20, 20 cents on the dollar, right? It's just <laughs> yeah. a bunch of click funnels. And we at, at Keller Williams, we have all this stuff set up, at least the potential set up for you with respect to um, inexpensive Facebook ads and landing pages and all of these kind of things where you literally can bring somebody into your world that can figure that system out quickly. And you could have leads coming at you before the, before lunchtime. So true. And I love that. Like, you know, I did, I went through all of those documents to create my job profile just for, um, to be able to show like angel and these people that I'm interviewing. It's like, here's, Here's the job profile. And I tweaked it, you know, I tweaked it to mine. I mean, you know, you take a few things out because you're like, oh, this other person's going to do that and created the standards. But I love that when you do hire someone, it could be just, hey, you're going to go into KWU and you're going to look at these three things today and you're going to read them and you're going to learn them and you're going to figure it out and you're going to execute it. It's like you don't, as an agent, have to sit down and be like, okay, here's how to create a Facebook ad. Here's how to... Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's all there it's all there it's like gosh i can't think of an easier business to break into than being an agent with keller williams now that now what i would i would even plus that a bit and say rather than saying hey it was so great to go through the interview process i'm so glad i got a chance to you know get your offer letter signed and all that day one okay here's the manual and i want you to read it and build it and she's yeah. like what Right. What <laughs> really should be saying is, I want to give you a glimpse into day one of your business. Okay, we have we have four thousand pages of manuals, and I'm a freaking hot mess, and I need you to take <laughs> that. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, right. so does this job feel good to you? Are you excited about this job? <laughs> excited about this job, right? right. And I, but before we waste any more time. Tell me how you're feeling right now, right? Are you going to wake up early and come to work and you know do what I ask you to do and then figure out ways to make it more efficient? Are you going to just like you? You can even tell them the line that I've said to you guys a bunch, which is you don't hire a talented person and then tell them what to do. You hire right. a talented person and then they tell you what to do. And yeah. so say, look, I'm looking for a talented person, somebody that's going to come in here and do all the things that I'm thinking I want done, and then half the things I want done you're going to tell me that idea sucks and you're going to go build it a better way for me <laughs> yeah that's it that's right it. and that's yeah. what i'm looking for i'm looking for somebody that's going to push me are you that person yeah. because yeah. if you push me if you push me this is where we're headed and you show yeah. them that mission statement you show them that economic model show them that the org chart. chart yeah and you say hey you want to run the expansion team in nashville that can be your job if you want it but we yeah. got to build this first. It's so right. exciting. I was in and out yesterday. You know, guys, I had a, 
outpatient surgery on Monday and I had no idea it was going to put me under. They didn't say like, Hey, you need to lay in bed for a week, you know? And so I was taking, I was having to take Percocet and then I would wake up like an hour later and I'm like, Oh crap, I've missed an hour of this. I would like doze off. So I'm excited to go back and watch Gene again. I mean, he's just so, he's just full of nuggets. I'll tell you, like I've seen Jim or Gene, you know, I don't know. 50 times at least over time and he's getting like I don't want to put this thing this bug into your brain but I just felt it yesterday like I feel like he's like kind of turning into a grumpy old man in some ways oh he's like, sure, yeah his yeah. directness is like triple yeah he's taught this stuff so much he's like and you can tell that he's like oh my gosh like, why is this so hard for people Right. And, and at the end of the day, everyone's looking for a shortcut, but there is no shortcut. Yeah. He says the shortcut right, is right. W-O-R-K, work. Right? <laughs> That's what you yeah. got to do. You just got to put in the work, man. He's, yeah. the, a lot of these people, <clears throat> and I know we've no all been shortcuts. guilty of this. Even, no even, the, even some of the higher, higher producers, we're, we're all guilty mm-hmm. of this, is we just flat out do not have enough leads. Yeah. And then half of your day is spent bitching about the people you don't really want to work with anyway. Right. Oh, right. I'll get that. Go find some more people to work with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The second you feel yourself frustrated at the behavior or expectations or uh, character traits of your client or prospect, mm-hmm. you should be saying to yourself, if I had more clients, would I put up with this? Yeah, no. I, I have an appointment this morning. I'm dreading going on for that very reason. And I've wrapped myself around the axle about it because it's like, well, it's a training opportunity for my new hire. Well, it's in the targeted area that I want to work. Well, you know, and at the same time, if I had a better appointment today, I would not be going on this one. Yeah, I hear that. I mean, everything is a calculated decision and it's all, it's also based on it's based, it should be first based on standards. And then secondly, it should be based on um, uh, essentially what your, what your uh, kind of tolerance is at that moment. Yeah. Right. Um, But with all that said, you got, you should be asking yourself, is this going to be a good return on my investment? Right. You could just as well train your client or train your, your, um, new partner with a good client than a bad part client, would you be better off meeting this person, possibly getting the piece of business and getting paid to do it? Or would you be better off spending three hours or two hours hitting the phones hard and, you know, liven up another old relationship with somebody you actually like? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you are good for today at 830 with the golden letter stuff, right? I am. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, Heather, did you get a chance to uh, to watch yesterday? Sorry, I'm uh, I'm driving, uh, doing school drop offs, so I was on mute. Um, yesterday, I actually did not get a chance to tune in because I had a doctor's appointment in Canton, but I know that it will be aired today on. Um, the pivot, they'll, they'll post it, you know, the pre-recording. So today my plan is to dive in, um, because I, you know, uh, what day is today? Friday. So Wednesday, he touched on like all the things we're going to talk about yesterday. And then I had to miss yesterday. So, um, my plan is to absolutely dive into that. I'm probably going to hold like a business planning lunch at my house over the next few weeks uh, and invite some agents to sit in and not to sit in, but, you know, to participate and, and us develop our plan for 2020. Um, well, I love that. Um, yes. if, if you're open, I, I'm more than happy to help in any way with that. And I'm more than sure. happy to, um, we could probably get like a sponsor if you wanted and, you know, make cool. that more of a related workshop if you're Sorry, the st- I got the phone so close to my face. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Um, uh, I'd love to help with that. If there's anything I can do to help, I think that would be really, really cool. And I, and honestly, I think business planning needs to be a workshop. I'm glad you brought yeah. that up because yeah, it's so easy just to say, okay, well, go do your life by design form, and then tell me how many leads yeah. you need. 
and people are like, oh, I'll get to that. And then they never do. And then they wonder why they had another mediocre year. Exactly. And so, you know, I, I am laying the foundation with the work that I'm doing now um, to have a really kick-ass 2022. Um, and I need, you know, I, I just want to set a clear path and course for what that's going to look like. Um, and so I was talking to Myra yesterday and, and she was like, well, we could get a room in, in the office. And I was like, or we can do it here, invite a few more people and, you know, I'll have lunch and it'll be like a luncheon plan, you know? Love that. Um, Love that. So we were talking about like, you know, possibly, um, well, not possibly, but broadcasting. So I have two things I, you know, either the living room TV where we can play Gene and, and, you know, for the refresher and the step-by-step, or I have downstairs in my basement, we have a theater room where I could kind of just play Gene and, you know, people can come in and out and play in the living room or sit in the theater room and watch that again a little bit more. So um, I think we're probably going to aim to do that at the end of November, mid November, end of November. I really, we just talked about it yesterday. So I have to. I I love that idea. Um, I I don't, you know, it doesn't need to be a PC, you know, only event or anything like that. I'd love to expose it to whoever's interested. Um, of we uh, if, as soon as you can uh, identify a date, let me know, and I will. Um, I'll check with a couple people to to make sure I can get some additional help and maybe even a sponsor. And um, I love that. It's like you know we can all bring you know blank this and blank that, and you know like the life by design forms, and we can have our GPSs, right. share ideas, and right. throw ideas out there. Um, and it's also like in a little bit. Well, it's also in a way more personal setting, and I feel like whether the agents are newer or top agents, because I do want to invite some top agents too, um, you know, we can get an intermingle of people to sit together and bounce ideas and talk to them about like why this is important. You know, why are you choosing these numbers? What does that look like for you? Um, And then, you know, when you have people who are at a level, including myself, when level for me there's so much to be learned and even for for people like us who sit with the newer agents you know we get like a little bit of a refresher course through them sometimes mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so yeah definitely That's exactly be, right <clears throat> yeah definitely going to be working on putting okay, that so together maybe, i know carrie just... carrie would love that carrie veal she's been talking yes. about that in the in that mastermind group we were in about getting together and doing it I always yes. try to go to a hotel and I just check in for a couple of days by myself. And now that I'm building out a team, I mean, I may do that like one night and then the next day they would come meet me at right, the hotel right. and do something. Right. And we, you know, that. we talked about that too on, I went away this weekend with Joe and uh, part of going away with him was we added a few extra days. So we added Saturday and Sunday so we could just have some alone time and um, he's in a high level coaching program for CEOs. And um, so whatever, Monday they played golf and then, you know, Monday night we had dinner with the whole coaching program and their spouses. And then on Tuesday, I got to sit in on his coaching program and their guest speaker, you oh, know, cool. and I, I don't want to say that guest speakers are a dime a dozen because they're not, you know, each one of them has a unique value, but this guy, Um, He basically, you know, and it's so funny because you know the message and sometimes you just, you just need the refresher. The guy was saying like, you know, okay, he's sitting in a room. These people are COOs, CEOs, EVPs, right? They're all like C-level or about to break through to C-level. And he was just saying like, you know, how do you want to develop the culture and the spirit of your, of your direct reports and their direct reports? He was like, and the number one thing that people are seeking in the workplace right now is appreciation and the number two thing is flexibility and he said you know if you get to a point if you get to a certain financial point right where someone's financially secure and they're sound a raise doesn't always do the job and boost the morale you know simply saying like hey you're doing a great job you're showing up 
you're handling this wonderfully. And he was like, this works in every aspect of your life. Just don't, you know, don't just think it's like for business. But the truth of the matter is when I think about that and I think about new agents who may be defeated or deflated, or even someone who's had a year like mine, like, sure, I capped, but I didn't hit my numbers. You know what I mean? Like, when I think about that, I think, you know, just knowing that like you're still showing up to some capacity and you're doing all the right things and you're putting your best foot forward, you're doing great. That keeps people in alignment with their goals. And so I just want to spread some of that around too, because my first year of business planning, I didn't have a business. And I saw you say that, Bill. I saw you say that in the in the WhatsApp group. Like this may not apply to some of you, but these are nuggets and it will hit them like a you know, if they stay, if they stay motivated, everything Gene River says is going to hit them like a ton of bricks at one point. But it's so interesting. I posted like, if you if you're thinking this is not for you, mm-hmm. you need to pay attention. And like mm-hmm. literally ten seconds later, Gene said, "Y'all single agents out there, don't sleep through this." Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. And and if there's anything, it's like, if, if the first thing that popped into my mind was like, let's say that you're new to this 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 enterprise this this business opportunity and you go into a training room and everyone's talking french and you're like holy shit i don't know if i know french it's like well you're gonna have to know french to be successful in this mm-hmm. are you gonna go learn french or are you gonna learn about the fact that you need to learn french to be successful you're gonna learn french and what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit in the room and pick up on the language through the people who are talking it yeah right and so when somebody says, you know, cost of sale, you're like, oh my gosh, I guess that's one more thing I need to understand. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's right. You're a business owner. Put it on yeah. the list. Yeah. Right. And if you don't, if you don't get it, your competition will get it. Uh-huh. They will keep you alive. Yeah. And, and I think that even in that, I think that I want to, I'm glad you brought that up. I want to hear the agents that are like, well, I'm talking about for a day, right? Just move the decimal place over, right? Yeah. It's, it's time, it's time for you to get into action, right? And you're going to, you got to, you got to build it. And then you got to, I've always used the analogy of like climbing a mountain. But you got to climb up, you, you can't go from base camp to the top of the mountain overnight. Right, you got to go to base camp and go up a thousand feet, kind of chill there for a little while, equalize, set up your systems, make sure you're mm-hmm. safe, get reorganized, clear up the chaos, right? And then when you've done that, you can climb a little bit more. And then at the next base camp, you realize you got different set of problems and different set of systems that need addressing. Mm-hmm. And you got to clean that up. And then you got to equalize a little bit. You got to see, hey, is there anyone that needs to join me on this, you know, next phase, right? And that's the way it goes. The, like everyone says, the best way to build a great big business is to build a great small business first. Right. I, I do want to caution you guys, though, because um, and you guys have probably been around long enough to, to understand this, is we, you know, we can leave that type of session so geeked up that our lives are going to be, you know, totally different tomorrow. And I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And the fact of the matter is that you're probably not going to do all that stuff. So I'm going to encourage you to get, to try to simplify, right? Take maybe one new marketing idea, one new system, right? One new spreadsheet or whatever, and nail that. And you can make a little list of, or, you know, a little file cabinet of all the things that you want to get to at some point, but you got to pick the most important and go win with that. Um, each of you, if I'm going to be super blunt at you right now, I used to say this to um, the ALC. Um, look, y'all, y'all's pictures are on the wall, right? Somebody new walks into the, the back room and they see, you know, I don't know, let's say Cynthia's picture on the wall. They say, ah, she's a leader. She must know what she's doing. I think I'll ask her about how to add this loop to command or whatever. And if she doesn't know how to do it, they're like, this person who they we got 400 people in the office and they put this person up on the wall and you don't even know how to do it I'm, I'm confused right so you guys are the leaders of i mean first of all you're the leaders of the office but you're definitely the leaders of pc 
And so every day you should be making a commitment to getting more and more clarity on the models, getting more and more clarity on commands, getting more and more clarity on your, your ratios and your numbers. Like, would it not sound crazy for like, I'll give you an, I'll give you an example. I'm not calling you out in particular, Michelle, but it wouldn't be unheard of for a new agent to come and say, Hey, I hear you're the productivity lady. Can you walk me through a GPS? Right. And you could probably like mostly get them there, but I think we would all agree that we could refine those skills a little bit, right? Or they could come to you and say, hey, show me your GPS. And they expect you to pull it up on your phone or print it out in two seconds. And you're like, oh, well, last time I looked at it was September of last year and I never really got around to doing it. They're like, wait a second, you're the one they prop up on stage? I'm confused. You see what I'm saying? Sure. So there's some responsibility yeah. with being um, successful, <laughs> right? Lead by influence, oh, sure. an example. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that would include, yep. you know, certifications and, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, all, all that yeah. kind of stuff, right? That's so, why Bill uh, was chastising me for not getting Keller certified. <laughs> I didn't chastise you for not doing it. I just chastised you for basically telling everyone else you hadn't done it. Yeah. Well, right. I know I was, I was going to be condescending and say, well, it's because I've never needed to do it. <laughs> well, I, I, no, I all of a sudden that, I'm like, oh shit, I need yeah. to do it. <laughs> right. I mean, look, we all, when we take on new responsibilities, we, we have to, understand how that works like i remember very clearly like when uh all the staff in the leadership group you know knew, found out that i was going to be tl and um lucy came up to me and she said okay now let me show you where the the team meetings are held oh uh, like, yeah. what she's like you hadn't been to a team meeting in two years i just want to make <laughs> sure you knew where to go <laughs> right so like, you got to make sure that you're, 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 you're making the plan, right? So I'm going to encourage none of you guys should be waiting to the end of November to have a finalized GPS. So yeah. um, send me what you got now and let me help you. For right. 2022. Yeah. Let me, let yeah. Send me draft one. I don't care if it looks like complete shit right now. Just send me yeah. draft one and I'll make it better by lunchtime. Right. And then you'll make it better by dinner time. And then we will finish this thing. Okay. Yeah. Because that is going to help you figure out exactly where the priorities are and exactly where the priorities are not. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. I'm going to hit the stop button and let everyone in. I'm almost to the office, Michelle. So I'm going to um, um, uh, turn the floor pretty fast to you. Okay. Okay. Yep.